Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Thank you so much for joining me. Now today I've got the start of a brand new series on my YouTube channel and this is going to be Friday 5 Minute Makes. Now this is simply some very very quick cards that you can be creating when you don't have much time and they should only take about 5 minutes or so. So let's start with the supplies for this first one and we're going to need a leaf die set or a leaf die, um, a butterfly stamp and a sentiment stamp and some general tools that hopefully you've already got at home like inks, uh, a few alcohol pens and some coloured cardstock. So let's jump straight into the card tutorial. Now everything I'm using is listed down below and of course if you've only just come across me please do subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. So I'm going to start by adding some colour to my background and I've got some little distress ink cubes here. They don't have to be distress inks, we're not using the water properties but what we are doing is simply dragging them across our car to create a kind of little, a little bit of a rainbow down here. I'm using uh, olive green, so crushed olive, a beautiful orange as well. This one is spiced marmalade and then picked raspberry as well. I'm just dragging them a little way across the card to get some bright colour going on here. Lovely and I love where they overlap as well. I love the distressed streaks we've got so it's really cool. So that's going to go onto our card base. In the end you see I've cut my card base that's a little bit smaller than the uh, base itself. So now we need to add some accents to this. Now I'm going to do that with the leaf die and I've chosen a cardstock that's similar to the green ink. So I'm going to cut this twice because even just by cutting it twice I think I can get lots of leaves from it. I don't have to use the entire sprig all the time, I can just use kind of parts of it as well to create what looks more like three or four different sprigs. Now with this die I like to push the leaves out first because the stem is really slim, it's really delicate. This is from the Textures Magnolia Drive collection and it's the half tone leaf stamp and die set so you do actually get five different leaves in this set and you also get five different stamps that match the shapes and sizes too and they're all half tone stamps so you can get some really cool effects going on there. So we've got a couple of leaf sprigs here, I will play with those in a moment, I'm just going to uh, pop them down there for a second because I'd also like to add in a butterfly. Now I found this lovely butterfly stamp this is from the Adventures in Ink collection. Um, this one was a range from the Floral Simplicity range and uh, these are exclusive to Craft Stash. So I'm going to stamp this butterfly and I'm going to do it in a Memento ink. So just stamp that there. Now Memento is wonderful, you can use it with watercolours. Um, I use it with my alcohol pens as well. You can use it for heat embossing if you're really quick. Um, for the alcohol pens rather than spend a lot of time colouring I'm just going to pick out a couple of areas that are going to have the dark pink so just a few small areas now and I'm going to try and be kind of um, a little bit symmetrical with it as well so I've got a clear blender here and I'm just going to rub over everywhere that I've coloured and all this is going to do is blur those edges just a little bit it's going to kind of smooth everything out so it doesn't look too rough it's great, like I say, if you're trying to colour in images quickly, you just want to add something organic like this, just a blur of colour behind it. That's perfect, that's more than enough. So I need to just cut this out with some fussy cutting scissors. Now I have to admit, when it comes to butterflies, I very rarely, rarely leave them with their antenna on because I just don't want to be cutting around the detail. When they're stamped images, they look lovely, but on die cuts, those poor antenna, they're just going to get caught up anyway, so I don't worry about those. So let's start thinking about our composition. Now our leaves are far too big, so I'm just going to tear these a little bit. Let's tear another one here too. And have one, two, and then a little, a few smaller ones. This is all going to be anchored down with our sentiment, which I'm also going to be just stamping and putting on there and then the butterfly will be over the top. So our sentiment is going to be another word from the same collection. So this is the Adventures in Ink stamp set and this one just says for your birthday. I'm going to stamp this onto black cardstock. Because I'm heat embossing make sure I use my anti-static bag and then clear embossing powder or sorry clear embossing ink 
popping that on there. It's always quicker if you can find a straight edge to stamp up along. So once that has heat set and cooled down, we can trim the sentiment. I think I'm going to just trim it with a banner at the end here as well. So just snipping in with my fussy cutting scissors. I'm going to leave the other end because that's going to hide behind the butterfly and the leaves. So let's adhere all of this on. Firstly, the sentiment. So let's pop this on. I like to put as much as possible on with foam. That really does lift everything up and give it a more professional finish. So I'm going to cut into some foam, a foam strip for this one. So just lastly, our entire card front that we've just created is going to go onto our card base, again with some foam to give it dimension. The reason that I work onto a panel of cardstock and then adhere it to my card base is so if I make any mistakes, I've not wasted uh, what can sometimes be quite pricey card bases. If you make your own, it's not such an issue. I'll just pop that down like so. And of course you could add a matte and layer of colour behind there as well, but there's our very first quick and easy five minute make on a Friday for you so you can go away and uh, make something like this ready for the weekend if you need a quick card but have fun with that change up the colors of course for different designs swap this for I don't know a dragonfly or a bumblebee or something and you've got lots of designs in your stash thank you so much for joining me everybody if you like quick cards like this and you'd like to see more please do subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up I'll see you again very soon take care